guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well on this fine, well for me it's an evening. I've just got back from the gym, it's about eight o'clock at the moment. I've just been for a nice little workout with my friends Ellie and Steph. And I've now come back and I thought this would be a good time to start this random little video. I'm gonna be doing a pack with me. I've never ever filmed a pack with me before and I love watching these videos, I actually watched a random girl's pack with me the other day whilst I was on the stepper at the gym just to, to distract myself. I feel like these videos are very good just to have in the background whilst you're doing something else. It's just a nice background noise, you know, someone packing their suitcase. I love watching them anyway. So I thought I'd film a pack with me for this work trip that I'm heading off on in a couple of days. I actually, this week is it, a lot's going on. A, a hell of a lot of stuff is going on in my week. My mum is getting married in the day after tomorrow. She's getting married on Saturday. Today is Thursday. Um, so that is so exciting. I cannot wait for that. I'm probably not going to vlog that just because I want the full day to obviously spend with my family. She has asked me to do a speech. Like, it's just, no. The answer's no. Like, I, we'll see. I'm thinking about it a lot. She actually asked my sister Zoe to do the speech because she's older, but Zoe, like, we're very different. I'm a bit more confident than Zoe. Zoe would be thinking about it all day and it would genuinely ruin her day. Also, I don't know why I've got such confidence coming on here looking like this. Like, the state of me, I'm literally a sweaty, greasy mess. I will have one day one day to pack for potentially the most important shoot of my life in Ibiza. So yeah, I'm heading off to Ibiza. It isn't a pleasure trip. Well, I say that four days working, two days pleasure. Um, so yeah, I've got a pack. I do have a stylist coming out with me to Ibiza for the shoot. So I don't need to pack ridiculous amounts, like the amount that I would normally take if I was going like if I wasn't having a stylist going with me but anyway we'll get into it when I get back in a couple of days time this was just for me to say hi I bought myself a new suitcase let me just go and show you my new suitcase we have a little TK Maxx special this suitcase was £39.99 so £40 in a nice little gold colour I don't know why I'm like advertising the suitcase obviously I do have one second I do have my Dior now don't get me wrong I would much rather take this case because it is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. I do use this like most weeks to be honest, but do you think I want to chuck this underneath a Ryanair plane? The answer is absolutely not. Like it's not happening. I'm just not chucking it underneath the plane. And I did try and find a silicon case to put on top. You can get these like um, covers for them, for Ramoas, um, that protect them. But I just thought, what's the, it just looks a bit embarrassing, doesn't it? The next time I check in with you guys, my mum's wedding will have been, my mum will now be a wife, a whole wife. So happy for her. Um, yeah, I can't wait. So I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of days. So next part of this vlog, my mum's wedding has now been, it's been and gone. It was literally the most incredible day ever. I can't even put into words how perfect the day went. I'm going to be completely honest, like, I wasn't, it's kind of hard to explain. I was never dreading my mum's wedding, but I always had a bit of like built up anxiety for it because I know how much she wanted the day to go perfectly. And like me and Zoe were bridesmaids. So I felt like semi responsible for making that day so perfect for her and helping her. And I, yeah, I, I felt like a bit of nerves towards the wedding and like a bit of like, oh God, I don't know how it's gonna go. But anyway, it's done now and it just couldn't have gone any better and um, yeah I'm just so so happy I'm still like on cloud nine from that day and it wasn't even my wedding I was actually just a bridesmaid but me and Zoe got so much love on our bridesmaid look but yeah anyways obviously heading to Ibiza do you want to know when do you want to know when tonight I'm heading to Ibiza tonight have I packed no no have I even have I even opened the suitcase the answer is no but did my Van Cleef bracelet come today which is hidden by my watch the answer is yes so that's a positive from today Van Cleef that I've literally been waiting weeks upon weeks upon weeks for now there we go um uh, has finally come and it's like the perfect fit so i'm so happy about that just in time before i head away i ordered packing cubes like what who do i think i am and did i only order packing cubes for the purpose of this video because i knew i was going to film a pack with me i would never normally buy packing cubes so i do think it was yeah it was probably just because this video don't get it twisted and think i'm an organized person because i'm really not but they do look pretty cool my little packing cubes i feel really really organized i've been getting so many deliveries all week and i've just not opened them i've got so much to do i've not even opened the parcel so i don't even know what i want to take uh, but i did place a huge order on plt of bits and bobs that i thought would be nice to take so i'm going to go through this now for my bikinis i'm actually going to use one of my packing cubes to pop them in so from plt i'm going to be taking 
this waffle texture bikini here. These are actually the bottom. I always buy my bikini bottoms in like at least a size 10 or like a, a bigger size for me just because I find that I can really pull them up and make them really high waisted. I only like wearing my bikinis super, super high waisted. The material of this is absolutely stunning. I also have this really, really incredible Hunza G dupe. Um, Hunza G is where I buy like so much of my swimwear from. It is really, really expensive. I actually did buy um, a swimming costume from there today from Selfridges. This is what it looks like. As you can see, that's that bikini is like a massive dupe for the Hunza G bit. So you could, they've got the same tortoiseshell rings on and it's the very, it's very similar crinkle material. The Hunza G is a little bit softer, um, but again, like for the price difference, this bikini, well, this swimming costume was 135 pounds and I'm sure this bikini was no more than like 30 pounds for the whole thing together. I then also picked up from PLT this really cute, um, olive what was it, olive, like sort of pale pastel green bikini. These bikini bottoms are so big. I definitely shouldn't have got these in a 10. These should have come in an eight. I never feel confident in a bikini. That's why I like swimming costumes more. But this trip, I've definitely packed more bikinis because I've not worked this hard in the gym to not just be like, do you know what, screw it. I'm gonna wear a bikini this holiday. Um, so yeah, that's the top for that. Really, really nice underwired. The paps in Ibiza. <laughs> they are vigilant like they are actually everywhere you go i've told you this story a hundred times but tommy and i literally took a boat out into the middle of the ocean no one knew where we were yet the pat still managed to find us on speedboats and it was just very weird that's like the honestly it's like the worst place for pat so if you see me in the daily mail in a couple of days time in some of these bikinis hiya how are you doing so i think i put this through the wash and <laughs> the size of it nah that's actually made for Stuart little why are they that small why are they that small? That's actually the front. That is, is that? Please don't tell me that's the front. That's the front. Look, the tag's there. These bikini bottoms are actually made for Ellie Belly um, and Stuart Little. Okay, well, I did just actually open an ASOS parcel that um, came today as well. Uh, uh, <laughs> I actually have no words. I have no words. Like, does this bikini want me to come back from my Ibiza single? Like, I'm genuinely going to get dumped if I wear this. Like, there, there's nothing to that. There is nothing to that. So in terms of shirts that I'm going to be taking, as I said, I don't like to sting out on the shirts in terms of I don't like to pack too little i always pack way too many shirts just because as i said i wear them every single day this is really nice basic brown shirt from plt super oversized i always buy my shirts in like a size 10 upwards um just so they're really nice and oversized on me so i'm going to be taking that one i also got this one ages ago from collusions on asos uh, this is also and this is in a uk 12 it's like a pinstriped blue and white striped shirt i do think i've got some cold shorts to match this but i don't know where they are but i feel like these blue and white stripy shirts are just i mean they're a little bit done i feel like they were very much last summer they were super super in but i still live in stuff like this on holiday so i'm gonna pack one of these I have this super cute balenciaga shirt that i wore in dubai i only got like a couple of words out of this and it was obviously super expensive so i'm definitely gonna take that with me wear it open on top of like a white bikini i thought that packing cubes were gonna make things a bit more condensed but to be honest they're taking up quite a bit of room like this here has got my underwear in and a couple of gym sets and as you can see there's loads of like excess room in the top of that packing cube which i need to stuff with stuff but then it's not that organized because i want this just to be underwear and gym stuff if you're wanting to pack really condensely and tightly i don't think these packing cubes are really that sensible i'm also going to be packing my sole shoes these are like honestly the most unreal pair of shoes i've ever seen they're these sliders from bottega that my friend anushka got me for my birthday i also ended up buying the matching dressing gown with these because when i realized they did one i was like i have to have that so i'm gonna try and pack that because i think it'd be so so cool um to wear for an instagram picture over in Ibiza, sounds so stupid, but yeah, I'm gonna try and fit it in. If it doesn't fit in, not the end of the world, I probably won't be able to fit it in because I don't think I'm gonna have much spare room, but I'm gonna pack these and try not to squash them too much. In fact, I might put these in one of my holders that I'm taking because I don't know, I just really don't want these to get damaged or squashed. So this is where we're at so far. Obviously there's so much stuff underneath these top bits. I said I was good at packing, but now I'm looking at it, that kind of looks like a parcel, like that was shirt there. I don't really think I actually am that good at packing, but yeah, these packing cubes, I don't hate them, but like they are taking up quite a bit of room so i don't really think they are necessary i'm gonna fill that other side with my vanity my makeup and stuff um so i need to get sorting this out now i'm gonna definitely gonna take this one over my louis vuitton one because 
I've definitely battered this from packing it in suitcases and stuff. It's just a bit annoying, I know, but it, to be honest, it's actually fine. Um, but yeah, I keep my Louis Vuitton one for at this home, and then when I travel, I always use this one. I have Jay coming out with me to Ibiza to style my hair for the first few days, obviously, that we're shooting for. Then I will be, obviously, styling my own hair, um, like normal, so I'm going to pack all my... Well, I'm going to take one of each, so I'm taking a Curl Kit one, well, just the one from Curl Kit one, the one from Curl Kit two, my waiver tool and my strainer. I can't believe that literally all of these are my collabs with Beauty Works. Like, that actually makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's just crazy, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm going to take all of these because sometimes I only pack, say, like, one of these and I think I'm going to wear my hair, like, wavy and then I'll wake up in the mood to really wear my hair straight or curly and I'm like, damn it, I should have just packed it all. So I'm going to pack it all um, because on holiday, you know, it's nice to wear your hair in different styles. So, by the way, I don't recommend wrapping the wire around the tool like this. I'm just being naughty one time i went to the Maldives with tommy the first time we went and i forgot a hairbrush and the whole trip we were there for like two weeks the whole two weeks i didn't have a hairbrush i had to like use my fingers and then towards the end of the trip they found me this like tiny miniature hairbrush about that big my hair was so matted it was awful but finally off the tripod i'm sure you were sick of the same view footage like the last i don't know how many minutes this has been on this video but this is the current state of the room i did have a little bit of a tidy up i know this looks a bit messy but it's kind of like an organized mess that is bags and shoes I need to pack. That is my airport outfit and a sweater that I actually bought for Ellen today. She said she wanted to borrow a black hoodie and then I was in flannels and saw this off-white like nice sweater that I knew she'd like. So I bought that for her for a little treat. Here we have my toiletries bag. So this is actually packed from when I went down south for my mum's... Um, for my mum's wedding I forgot why I went down then so I've got obviously like deodorant and stuff but I'm just going to take this all out um, and then I went to Boots earlier and bought some other bits like razors some body scrubs some face wipes mouthwash shaving gel so I'm going to repack all that stuff in here because I mean this is looking a little bit messy so I'm definitely going to be packing my Kylie Skin makeup remover I absolutely love that it's really really good for getting your makeup off I've also packed a tiny little maybe baby LMS pro collagen cleansing well because I never leave home without this but it is so small and baby and just did it it's so cute so I'm gonna take that I've got a toothpaste shaving gel um I've got a large deodorant in there and a roll-on deodorant because I like to use both I like to put roll-on on and then spray deodorant on top I'm also gonna be taking my Foreo I'm gonna grab my UFO from Foreo as well and um, shove that in because I just literally again can't leave home without those so this is my favorite favorite razor to use at the moment I don't find it particularly gets my hair that short especially in that region i think the men's razors was like a bit of shaving foam or um like the little i don't know cheapy ones without like the jelly pads on um are better for getting your hair like extra extra short but to keep my legs nice and moisturized and just you know because it's coconut and you guys know i'm obsessed with coconut things this is the razor that i went for i've used this a few times the handle's really really luxurious as well and you can just keep the handle and switch out the heads i just left mine in a hotel room a few weeks ago so i needed to replace the whole thing and i'm also going to pack my absolute favorite body moisturizer i think i might have a fresh one of these in my bathroom because this is definitely nearly running out but this is lucky by christian dior I mean I just love it so much it's like very bougie but just the nicest body moisturizer I'm like obsessed with body moisturizers I moisturize my body about four times a day at the moment it's ridiculous I'm also going to take a flannel because I love taking my makeup off with a flannel and like a makeup remover so yeah, I'm just going to get cracking with packing my toiletries so this is how it's looking now I've got my toiletries bag in and my makeup bag in my makeup bag is huge i've really tried to condense it about 100 times but i know the minute i take something out i'm gonna be like oh, i needed that thing that i took out so i've got my hold all out and my louis vuitton suitcase i did show you guys that i bought a new louis vuitton holder with the neon straps but i've decided to take my old one because it is slightly bigger and fits more in and it also matches the suitcase i'm going to keep my neon one as like a gym bag um but i decided to put my green sliders in this just keep all the shoes together um, and 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 the only place my tracks would fit was in like this part of the suitcase. So I mean, I'm gonna try and sh shut it in a minute just to test that it. it does shut. My neutral bullets in. I did pack that in my hand luggage as well, but then I thought it's like an electric equipment, so I don't want to have to like rummage around and get things out at like through the, through the security and stuff. Sorry, I can't speak through the security. Um, so I popped it in my main um suitcase. But yeah, I'm, I feel like I've got a little bit of space here if I need to shove something extra in. Anyway, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, some guy definitely just saw my whole booth. I need to stop standing next to the window. Oh my gosh, did that just happen? That just happened, didn't it? <laughs> I'm actually a little bit traumatized. That guy just literally saw my whole boob. <laughs> I need to pluck my eyebrows. Um, note to self, stop standing next to the window whilst you're naked. 
literally eye to eye contact whilst the whole areola was on show so happy birthday to him what a lovely treat i'm joking it's not a treat that that view is not a treat let me tell you especially when i'm boiling hot my nipples are literally about this size cold nipples are so much nicer than hot nipples why am i talking about this shut up molly right i'm gonna go and wash my hair now because there's no need to explain like you could fry a chip on that hair I'm going to wash my hair, shower, moisturise, try and cool down a little bit, have a cold shower, um, and then come back and finish the last little bit of packing. I don't have that much more to do now. I am showered, I am hair washed, I'm at teeth whitening in. If I look really strange, that's why, and if I've got a lisp, that is why. I just spat everywhere. I'm going to relax for a bit now because I literally feel a bit lightheaded because I've been standing up. It's so, so, so hot in here. Um, so I'm going to sit down for a bit, make myself some tea and watch some TV, but... Yeah, I'm happy with the progress I've made. I've got that side zipped up because I just wanted... I know I should have probably showed you, but it's just like makeup, um, the Dior vanity with all my toiletries in and stuff. I've got my airport outfit there. I'm wearing this really cool bright red Drew House hoodie, which um, SM Crepes managed to get for me really, really quick. So shout out to them. Thank you, Sam, for sorting me that out. So I've wanted that um, Drew House hoodie um, tracksuit for so long. And I haven't been able to get it. So that's good. Why am I literally out of breath? I sound like I'm about to... Um, collapse or something can't breathe it's so blooming hot in here i mean it's probably the worst pack with me you've ever seen i barely showed you anything that i was actually packing and stuff so let me know in the comments down below if i do one of these again how you want me to do it if you like this or not but i'm gonna catch up with you at 4 a.m i'm gonna get sick everywhere like i'm like i was speaking to ellen and erin um the two girls that come with me as well for my management that basically at that time in the morning I get the worst, worst tummy ache. Like I feel so unwell. Does anyone else get that? Like I think I've spoken about this before on my vlogs. When I'm up that early in the morning, literally, I feel so unwell. Um, I get the worst stomach aches. I'm not looking forward to that. The next time I'm filming will be bright and early, 4 a.m. That's basically not bright and early. That's still like night time for me. Oh, excuse me. Right, love you guys. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Hello guys, hotel lighting is really not the one is it and sorry for my appearance in this spot, <laughs> I'm having to do this to get the good light, um, oh I've had an emotional morning, I've literally been like crying all morning um, and I did actually film this whilst crying but I was, I'm not even going to put that out because it's just, like, I don't want to make this video really sad and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, my friend Misha Grimes, who some of you may follow um, on Instagram or be subscribed to her YouTube, um, her dad passed away a couple of days ago and then this morning she made it public on Instagram and I, it's just the saddest thing, like it's just honestly heartbreaking um, and I wanted just to say it on here because I want my followers to go over to her Instagram and just show her so much love and support and tell her she's going to be okay and just please and show her some love because yeah i just wish i could give her a hug right now but it's just the most pain must be the most painful thing i can't honestly imagine like if any of my subscribers have lost a parent like i just cannot it's just it must just be all but like, must just be awful like, i'm just so sorry i'm sorry i didn't end this video properly and I'm sorry it wasn't the best pack with me you've ever seen. And sorry for the last clip. I'm literally just in silent. But Tommy was literally sleeping like right in the bed. Um, like next to that door. So I don't want to wake him up. Um, and I also never told you that I did actually um, do a small speech at my mum's wedding. I forgot to tell you guys that. Um, so yeah, I did do a small speech. And it was fine. I literally said like four words. Um, but yeah, anyway. Oh, wow, why has it gone so dark? 
goodness me anyway but this video is gonna go out today so thank you so much for watching this video guys my next video i promise you is coming so soon and i'm sorry again for my absence i'm sick of saying it i'm sure you guys are sick of me saying it too but my next video is coming really soon and i hopefully will see you all there love you guys bye